a special treat for you, and they are ready to come out. Yes. Please welcome Extra Extra! extra. extra. And 
isn't married. What? What are the chances? God damn it. <laughs> so you can get laid. Yeah! So like, you're gonna have to take one for the team, bro. Yeah, man. Oh, I'll only do that because you guys are my best friends. Oh! Okay, come in, let's see what I'll find out. Hello? What's up? Hey. Told me to wear a Tarzan outfit to the party tonight. Said I was going home with one lucky guy. <laughs> <laughs> Randy Brown had instituted a policy not to take questions from meeting attendees. At the December meeting, 81-year-old resident Kenneth Mills asked a question about tax abatement. Mayor Brown spoke over the question. Quote, you're acting like a jerk, Mills had said, because the state of New Jersey had already been banned. <laughs> After over three months, the policy has been overturned, with the town council answering questions and offering explanations during its meeting on Tuesday. Mills complimented the council Tuesday night again for taking questions. But fear not, fans of draconian rules and measures. Mayor Brown, who is also the kicking coach for the very likable Baltimore Ravens, has said he may run for governor in 2017. All right, uh, Mayor Brown will now be taking questions. Uh, oh, from, really? Yes, he will. <laughs> uh, so if anyone in the audience has a question for Mayor Brown, please raise your hand and then come to the podium. Uh, and you can uh, give your question now. Anyone? Sir? Hi. Uh, Mayor Brown? Yeah. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Joe Filosky, uh, local union. Uh, yeah, I've heard about you, Joe. I hear you've got some problems. It's a, it's a big deal. You know, we're all on, on board with you. I'm not real. I, 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 someone's dog is peeing in your yard. No, yeah, it hurts me. That was, no, I, uh, I was hoping that uh, maybe, you know, we, we, we pay a lot of dues uh, and we backed you uh, from uh, campaign to campaign. Uh, Sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, we backed you before. Uh, we were hoping that maybe you could uh, kick some uh, some money our way. Uh, sorry, uh, I just steam fitters. My, my aide's just talking in my ear. I, I got a, a message to uh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, you. Right. Thank you. I have a question. I have a question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Uh, why? <laughs> uh, go kick yourself in the ass, sir. Oh, but why? <laughs> What's the point? Why? <laughs> well, we're all, you know, we're all citizens here on the same team, and we're all just trying to make it, so I think that what everyone needs is really just a little kick in the booty. But if... <laughs> if if you were to not kick yourself in the ass, I mean, that would be, that would be a municipal tragedy, a travesty, I would say. Uh, in fact, if you were to, to remain in your present state, I can't see any, I can't see your condition improving at all, sir. Are you calling my wheelchair a present state? Uh, sir, I'm just saying, some of us have made some choices in our lives, and we're going to have to face, you know, we're going to have to face the consequences for our decisions. I, I just, right. I'm sorry, the mayor will only be taking questions from people with two working legs. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, the, the mayor's opponent of the upcoming election is here, and she also has a wheelchair. Sucks <laughs> nice for her. <laughs> is it true that your tax abatement policies will particularly hurt the elderly children, people in wheelchairs, small puppies, Girl Scouts, people's favorite grandmothers, etc.? <laughs> yeah, De Debbie, it's true that my, my tax abatement Can you program. Please refer to me as Miss Smith. I find it very offensive that you would refer to me in the diminutive of my given name. <laughs> <laughs> you, you bring out a very good point that you are, in fact, the only citizen of our community who will not be advantaged by this tax abatement program. And I find that horrifying because I am the most important person in this town, and for that reason, I am running for mayor and will kick your ass. Sir. Uh, it's uh, right. uh. <laughs> hey, honey, honey, so um, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about, you know, did you have a rough day? Because you seem kind of angry tonight. Yeah, honey, I just got all the <laughs> <laughs> tonight. I was just, I was there, Debbie rolled in, and I mean, she like brought this on herself, right? Yeah, yeah. Sir, let me take the mic. 
Oh. <laughs> you don't need the microphone in our living room, honey. It's just, it's just us here. <laughs> oh, why didn't you? My, my age is, Why didn't you have dinner with me earlier tonight? Oh, because I. Sorry. Why didn't you have dinner with Randy beforehand? Oh. <laughs> 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 right here, dude, I'm a Vietnam Always bringing up the Vietnam thing. It still weighs heavy on yeah, I me. Mean, you know, I saw a lot of shit. <laughs> Well, honey, we just want you to be, when you're here, be here. You know, you don't need to be yelling at the kids all day about them not being good at the sports. Listen, coach, if you could just, 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 you know, show up at practice once in a while and help us out. Like, these, I've missed three <laughs> game-ending field goals in the past four weeks. I feel my job is on the line, and I feel I don't have your full attention. Can I get a mic? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you just need a little kick in the butt, huh? You know, we all make decisions, and eventually we got to pay the price for, the, for, the, for our actions. And maybe that price for you is not making field goals. Okay, but I'm the field goal kicker, so this is going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. All right, come on. And, uh, Mr. Mayor, um, we got to start the game. I'm going to have to throw a flag if we don't just, he doesn't kick the football. So, can we get one of my aids out here? Yeah. Yeah. Can we uh, slow us down for a minute? Yeah. Uh, go the fuck yourself. <laughs> John Urschel, the, an offensive lineman for the Baltimore Ravens, recently co-authored a paper in the Journal of Computational Mathematics. A highlight of the study is, quote, a cascading, multi-grid algorithm for fast computation of the fielder vector of a graph, Laplacian, namely, the eigenvector corresponding to the second smallest eigenvalue, obviously. <laughs> Urschel, who was drafted in 2014, had a 4.0 grade point average at Penn State University and has been published several times in mathematical journals. He is also an accomplished chess player and the only 300-pound mathematician to ever get laid. <laughs> With an accomplished career in the glamorous field of mathematics, why has Urschel chosen the NFL as his primary career? He says, quote, there's a rush you get when you go on the field, lay everything on the line, and physically dominate the player across from you. This is a feeling I'm addicted to. End quote. Urschel said he was jealous of Chris Borland, the San Francisco 49ers linebacker, who retired from football this month at the age of 24 because he was worried about head trauma. Yo, Urschel, you know, me and the rest of the team, we just think it's real impressive what, what you do with your paper. If you, if you just, like, tell me a little bit about it. Yep. It's just like, it's so cool what you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, mm. Basically, my paper mm, is about a, a cascaded multigrid algorithm for fast computation of the Fiedler vector of a graph Laplacian Inflation, namely of the eigenvector corresponding to the second smallest eigenvalue. I mean, it's basically, it's basic arithmetic. I, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm much more of a visual learner. <laughs> <laughs> so happy to agree to come on this date with me. I would love to hear more about uh, what it is that you, uh, that you do. Yep. Tell me about your paper. <laughs> yep. Uh, there, are, there are numbers, and they are cascading. <laughs> like a waterfall. And uh, it's really beautiful. I see math is really beautiful, and I think you're really beautiful. And I saw the other guy got such a more detailed explanation. You're <laughs> a woman, so I didn't want to <laughs> confuse you. No, keep it simple for me. Do you um? Do you? Well, okay, your okay, your OK Cupid profile said that you played uh, checkers. But I did, I did. If you play chess, and that's so the same thing. No, it, mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I like sports. We're a tender match. I guess so. I'm the CFO of the Fortune 100. Do you get a rush when you bump into them in the hallway? <laughs> Call me back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I wanted to wait until we got to the middle of the country to tell you. I can talk. About two hours ago, I'm like, she's not gonna fucking believe it. <laughs> oh, this has been such a relief. I'm trying to figure out if this is real or all the meth I took in the <laughs> So real. I saw you doing that, and that's not good for you. I know. I know, Kevin, you're right. I believe that God brought you to me to that's... tell me the truth and to snuggle. That, okay, half of that is crazy. <laughs> I'm an exceptional cuddler, okay, and snuggler. That's why yes. I stole you. Okay. You, looked, you looked hot, and I'm sorry if you miss your old family, but I needed you more than they did. I don't, but I'm really thirsty. If you had something to drink, because I'm about to pass out. Yeah, welcome to Tom's Diner. What can I get for you guys? The lady, the lady will order first. Uh, I, right, I'm gonna stop you right there. <laughs> <laughs> your cat over here is wearing a little top hat. <laughs> Clearly not a human. Get talking. It's amazing. It is amazing. And he will have a tuna fish sandwich. Yeah. Spot on. <laughs> what do you have? I will have some meds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one is special. Be right back. <laughs> we talk about this. I know. You need to start taking care of yourself. I'm a fucking cat. <laughs> it's just when my gerbil died, things went all topsy-turvy. You told me this in Mississippi. I know! He was my best friend and also a little bit of my life coach, too. <laughs> Uh, I, you know, I, I'm having sleepless nights. Uh, 
can't really get through the night without seeing, you know, if you could just write that out for me, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. We do that a lot, a lot of with cats. You know? Yeah, it's crazy. My owner's a freaking mess. Yeah. So, uh, anything you can do. Cat! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you can just write that out for me, I'd yeah. appreciate it. I mean, it's, it's, it's good that we don't have to go underground and get this sort of thing. Cat. Cat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. <laughs> <laughs> I hang out with people who just do Cypress Hill floats. So. <laughs> but that's the only one we know. <laughs> 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 <laughs>